you know, with dopamine fasting and everything, we really do live in a culture and society that is very addicted to instant gratification. So I think the, the collective needs to start looking at their behaviors and their beliefs a little bit more where we're all very conditioned to, I don't feel the way I want to feel. So I should go talk to my doctor and take this pharmaceutical, or I'm going to self-medicate with, you know, street drugs, or I'm going to self-medicate, self-soothe with, you know, caffeine and alcohol and cannabis or sex or gambling or, you know, whatever. Um, or if it, and that's more kind of like toxic self-soothing behavior, uh, as opposed to more self-constructive, like I'm going to do a functional medicine protocol. I'm going to take some supplements. I'm going to work on my sleep hygiene and my stress management. I'm going to exercise. So there's different ways of trying to, you know, give the meat suit, give the central nervous system what it needs so that we can feel the way that we want to feel. But I feel like the big thing that people don't look at are the behaviors, right? They're much more apt to reach for a pharmaceutical or a drug or a potentially self-destructive, you know, activity or behavior, or even let me do all the lab testing and get that silver bullet, you know, supplement protocol. Whereas if we look at more the behavior and the beliefs in the psychology of, you know, what is dopamine associated, it's associated with instant gratification, whereas delayed gratification, the research shows is associated with a greater serotonin response. And so it's not just about giving ourselves the, the substrate, the material or the stimuli to induce that neurochemical sensation that we want to experience, we have to take ownership of we can modify our neurochemical experience through our behaviors. And so what I'm really getting at is with dopamine, right? You know, Instagram, like how many likes did I get? How many comments did I get? Like, let me post a, you know, skin pic so I can get some external affirmation to feed my empty soul, right? Whereas like delayed gratification actually gives us more of a serotonin response. So if we want more serotonin, we want to feel more happy and joyful and loved and loving, well, maybe if we practice a little bit of discipline and a little bit of delayed gratification, we can amplify our serotonin response naturally behavior wise, rather than like, let me go get an SSRI or, or whatever. So I think that's the overlooked piece is people just want that, that pill for an ill or that silver bullet protocol, because they don't really want to change their behaviors. They, they like their behaviors, they're addicted to their own behaviors. So dopamine fasting is exactly that. It's kind of having the, the discipline and self-control to refrain from that just kind of toxic, self-indulgent behavior, right? Hey there, I hope you're getting tremendous value out of our videos. If you are, make sure you like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, turn on your alert buttons, and then check out the description below because I have a free masterclass that will teach you how to 10X your energy levels in the next 12 weeks and finally end your energy and exhaustion nightmare.